Hey everyone, Zen Rider here. I hope you're ready to ride an epic peak to the beach. Starting out at the Paso Picacho campgrounds. It costs $10 to park there, but it's worth it. You park there and then you head out. And you'll see me making a few turns here. I'm going to explain that later before I get on the trail. But then once I get on the trail, the trail is this incredible brand new smooth asphalt that is just gorgeous all the way to the top. This road is closed right now for quote unquote construction. However, this road being closed is certainly a crime against nature. Nature because we don't get to see nature in this gorgeous view up to the top of Cuyamaca Peak. Now, I really wanted to get out here and ride it and I had been challenged by uh, Zen Lee and Brandon to go to the top of Cuyamaca Peak and I've been saying, well, it's closed, well, it's closed. And I decided, you know, what the heck, I'm going to get out there and check it out. So, I'll talk a little more about that later, but the most incredible thing is this sweet path all the way to the top. Now, hardly any hikers are on it. It's just gorgeous and there are just a few people but you know here if it were a road you know we would go ahead and pave half of it and let people access during the other half so why they think they can just shut this down for a year and a half i don't know anyway um but so nice that um you get up here i guess i was cruising a little bit going up it's strange that i would hit an uphill speed faster than downhill i don't know about that but I uh, was definitely cruising up basically only about well, it was 20 minutes to the top I think but I spent some time cruising around the campgrounds down below so uh, the shaded the woody areas and then I, I pulled to stop on a little uh, saddle here looking out had a little bit of view but amazing rainbow partial rainbow there in the morning now I this is probably like 7 30 or 8 a.m. and I'm uh, just checking it out and enjoying it. It's not that far to the top now and when I went hiking with my family got them to go up this way you know it took the better part of half a day to do this. And to be able to come up here on the electric unicycle and fly up this thing and just 15 20 minutes and be at the top with the kind of views that there are it was is just an awesome experience so you don't have to spend half your day in getting there now it's changed a little bit at the top we're almost there now but there is a section at the very peak which is fenced off. I think that used to be a little different. Uh, it comes up the same trail obviously, but you'll see here um, the towers, and I think that's probably for safety and security of those towers. But they've kind of directed, that's blocked off, but they kind of directed the foot traffic here around to a side part, which is fine. And, um, but it's got the great view, of course looking out over everything. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. The views really are magical. And in my opinion, the best in all of San Diego. Now, there's the Stonewall Peak, which you can hike. It's um, pretty rocky, probably a little too rocky for an EUC, but it's on this backside over there. You notice that's where the sun's coming up to the east. And Mount Laguna's over that way, but Mount Laguna just has a view of the desert. You know, it's got nothing on Cuyamaca Peak. And then as um, we look to the left, there's also uh, King's Peak and uh, Middle Peak uh, right there. And so those are some other trails I'd like to explore sometime in the future, possibly. But nothing really compares with the view 
all the way to the ocean, looking out, um, looking out from the top of Cuyamaca. To the south, you've got Ote Mountain and Mount Miguel, and then you've got Cowles Mountain out there. Back Mount Laguna's back that way towards the sunrise. But also, looking out here, way in the distance, you got Mount Woodson and Iron Mountain, which just look like little foothills from this vantage point. And uh, Viejas Mountain, just spinning around. Fun fact, it's about 38 miles from this point all the way down to the ocean, right by Del Mar as the bird flies. Well, one last time here. We'll just take it all in before we go, but 360 degrees all the way around. Loving the scenery here from the top of the world in San Diego. So what goes up must come down. We have to head back because this is just part one of Peak to the Beach. Of course, got to do this early in the morning so we'll have time to get all the way down to the beach in the second part of our video. So definitely want to be able to finish up what we've done here so far. Heading on down. Try to take it slow, of course, and go around people. Pass them on the way up, hang out at the top, and then come down. That's the way it is a lot of times, whether you're going uh, to Mount Woodson or any of these up and down peaks. Passing a lot of people, um, but they're making a day of it, of their hike. So, as we head down, I started out kind of not going too fast because. Uh, not quite sure about that braking. It's almost easier to go uphill, I feel, but um, after a while I kind of got into it and got a rhythm going and it just uh, feels great cruising down this thing. I think I must have made it down in like 10 minutes, so but beautiful ride out there. Now one of the things I wanted to mention is that I'm pretty motivated to get up here to the top of Cuyamaca Peak and not wait till whenever it is they're going to open because it turns out my company is moving to Texas. Because of that, I'm going to be moving also. And so I sold my house, I bought a new one out there, but it's kind of a bummer because I think we have a pretty good crew here in San Diego and it's going to be kind of hard for me to uh, move out there and start fresh and there's one other thing that's a big problem and that is there are no mountains around Houston so I'm going to have to find some other things to get into <laughs> or I'm gonna to have to drive I'm not sure which to find um, anything as beautiful as this certainly so kind of a hard thing doing that but I thought I'd share that and um, I'm going to kind of miss some of the guys uh, from here, that's for sure. So, well, hopefully I'll still do some videos and you guys can watch those. And I'll be still watching your guys' stuff and seeing what's going on. So, here's to new things. I've talked before about how effortless it is when you're riding on an EUC and when you get in the zone and you just feel like you are flying on a magic carpet you can literally just lean and tilt your body just the minutest degrees and control everything and then it's not even that you're thinking about it but you're just riding you don't have to think and I know it's kind of corny and cheesy, but you become one. You are just moving and flying. It's got to be 
the closest thing to flying that you can do while on the ground and not actually flying. And it certainly feels that way. I know it does for me whenever I'm uh, in the zone and just enjoying it. I'm sure you guys have felt this, but if you get a chance to come out to Cuyamaca Peak, uh, don't miss it. This is a, this is a must see right here. Okay, now on coming on the way back, I found the right way to come up here. And so I want to point it out to you guys. Now you'll notice we're coming down the trail, but it's going to stop right here. It's at the top of the campground. Now watch, I'm going to turn left here. And this is a little path that connects to the, the loop trail um, that goes all the way to the top. And it connects right to the top of the campgrounds. So, although I think that's a ranger right there on the left, but uh, normally, if you just come up there and go on that connector right through there, you're going to have no problems. You come in, pay your fee, and park. Just cruise up through these campgrounds. Do the reverse. I'm going back right now. But you'll want to go all the way up through the to the top campground there. And just go on that little connector trail, and boom, you are on the trail that goes all the way to the top of Cuyamaca Peak. And um, then you don't have to cross the do not cross um, border at the bottom like where I wound up going in and I was zipping around because I was trying to not cruise through people's campgrounds and stuff so anyway hopefully you can use that tip to go the right way in um, so you won't have any problems so anyway I'm cruising back and get back to the car but I'm also going to show a little map here in a second so um, but I get back to the back to the car right here and I'll show you that in a second well ride to the peak that was fun okay here's the map I was telling you about and so you're gonna cruise down all the way through and then you won't do that winding around like I did on the way out and campground itself area you got restrooms there you want to bring your own water but it's only about so three miles up now then going home I was cruising on the road here now hey I'm doing like 45 miles an hour so you got to be careful you know I don't recommend this to everyone well all right truth be told I was in my car Now wait, don't leave yet. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button so you get my next video.